getting a lot of inquiries about crop that's still in the ground, corn that's been in the ground since the 14th or 15th of April, now it's the 2nd of May, same way with soybeans, not coming up, farmers are concerned. And I think we have to, again, remember that this crop develops off of heat units. And you hear the term growing to degree day, growing degree units, heat units, they're all basically the same. And a crop starts to develop when it hits the minimum temperature for development. So for corn and soybeans, that's going to be 50 degrees. Anytime the soil is over 50 degrees, they're going to start to develop. Uh, alfalfa is going to be like 40, 41 degrees. It's going to be uh, quicker to, to respond to the cooler temperatures. So we can take the high of the day, the low of the day, uh, and average that and then subtract 50 degrees from it, and that would tell you what your heat units or growing degree days are. Now, um, in a lot of cases here in the last eight to 10 days, it's been maybe zero to three or four. So we think about corn being in the ground two, three weeks and not coming up, but we're thinking in calendar days, calendar weeks, when the crop d operates off of heat units. So. For it, it may have only been a half a day or a few hours because it only got five GDUs for the day. As this crop develops, they're a little bit different. Once the soybean emerges, the growing points above ground, then it transfers or starts to transfer more to air heat units and soil GDUs, where corn is gonna run off of soil GDUs up and through about V6. Now, again, the GDUs are a great way to monitor that crop and see if it's doing what it's supposed to do. So we know from planting to pollination for most hybrids, so many GDUs, from planting to black layers, so many GDUs. So by tracking it instead of the calendar, you kind of know whether you're on track or not. There are some uh, little things that interfere with that and stress is one. So if we stress corn or we stress beans prior to reproductive stages, will slow it down. So we won't have quite the GDU growth that we thought we would have and we won't be at the right spot. If we stress it after the reproductive stages, we speed that process up. Then we think about corn from, you know, going from V1 to V2, you know, it's gonna take a, probably about 90 GDUs per leaf collar up through V10. And then that's gonna drop down into that 50 to 60 GDUs from leaf collar after that as we're in that rapid growth stage. but. Keep track of the GDUs, that'll help you predict when you're gonna pollinate, that'll help you manage that crop as far as are we ahead or behind. Yes, we're slow getting out of the ground, but based on GDUs, that's about what we'd expect. Insect heat units are a little different. We calculate them on the hour or on the half hour. Again, anytime we're above the uh, minimum stage for an insect, you're gonna have some um, growth uh, in that insect. So we're gonna kind of move it along. Using GDUs or heat units is a lot better way to stay on top of are you on target or not with this crop.